Hello. Wendy, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> you can move closer to this uh, microphone. <laughs> Good, uh, good, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to, uh, to all the listeners. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Have you ever been to Kenya? No. First time. Your first time. Mm -hmm. How do you find it, Kenya? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Ver and very friendly people. Uh -huh. How is Australia? Um, it has some similarities to Kenya. Okay, the In weather. The weather, uh -huh. the trees. <laughs> Do you have a maize plantation over there? <laughs> um, not much, no. Not much. But we have the cattle and the sheep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, welcome. T today people are celebrating Valentine. Yeah. Um, How can you talk about it? Okay, so today I have a few questions to ask all the, the supermen out there. Yes. So do, um, does everyone know... Who Superman is or heroes, who heroes are. Mm -hmm. We all like heroes and we all like Superman, yeah? True, even me. I, I, I love heroes. love people who can <laughs> like, like, like be heroes in my yeah, life. Yeah. yeah, we all do, yeah? Uh -huh. um, another question is, um, do, do you think men or women are stronger? Obviously, in Africa, physically, men are stronger. Physically, <laughs> men are stronger. Yes, I agree. Okay. I'm a woman, but I, I still agree. Yeah. <laughs> women are strong, but men are physically stronger. Okay. Um, so, what? another question. So, yes. many questions to think about. <laughs> okay. Another question is, why do we think God made men stronger? So, that's a thought to ponder. Mm -hmm. But I believe God make, made men stronger to protect women. True. Yes, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Um, yeah, so... Um, so you left us thinking over the questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so oh, I'm going to welcome M Melissa. Does that she have something to say to add on that? Melissa? Hello, good morning. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you for having us here this yeah. morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Valentine's Day, and it's easy to think about love and how we treat each other on Valentine's Day, but uh, it's something we really should be doing every day of the year, and I think that those are the questions that um, Wendy's asking us Yes, um, have to do with thinking about how we, how we treat each other, and not just on Valentine's Day, but every day. Mm -hmm. And some of the thoughts that I had um, to add to that would be just when you, when you think about when you think about love and how you treat people, and, and, and guys, I'm mostly talking to you. Ladies, I think you'll appreciate this, but I'm talking to the guys right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you think about uh, how we treat women, um, and, and where do we find good examples of those heroes, and where do we find good examples of that to follow and, and to, to know how to act? Um, it's interesting. You can actually go back clear to... Um, I'm going to go back to the Garden of Eden and, and think of Eve mm -hmm. um, and and think of, you know, if everybody could just visualize what, what the Garden of Eden must have been like, that paradise, that perfection, um, you know, wonderful fruit and beautiful birds and wow. sunsets. Just imagine that. It, it may have been a lot like the Kenyan sunset I saw last <laughs> night. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, thinking about th that kind of beauty and, and how all that came to an end when sin entered the garden, mm -hmm. it's very interesting um, how Jesus loved us so much that he redeemed that. And we see, a, we see a parallel or a mirror of that at the tomb True. with another woman. <clears throat> and um, her name was Mary Magdalene. And if we, if we know a little bit about Mary Magdalene, um, we've got to go back to how Jesus and Mary Magdalene met. And um, it, wasn't, it wasn't the best of circumstances for Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Magdalene had been taken over by, had been possessed by demons and had, had to leave. Just like Eve had to leave the Garden of Eden, True. Mary Magdalene had to leave her home. She was cast out of her home, just like Eve and Adam were cast out of the garden. And it's very interesting, you know, Jesus redeemed her. He, he cast out the demons, and, and she, beca she began to follow him, just like the, the disciples. And, and something to know that, that is very important in that culture, um, that, was not, that was maybe not normal.
Mm -hmm. Um, It was okay for men to follow teachers like that. But when it came to teachers um, and rabbis and the church, women were not allowed Mm -hmm. um, to be a part of that. But Jesus welcomed Mary and other women in and treated them as equals um, and as partners, just like he treated the men, just like he, just like he treated the men as equals and as brothers, he treated the women with respect um, and and loved them and like sisters. Um, and when you look at the when you look at the contrast of the Garden of Eden and the Garden of the Tomb after Jesus died, the tomb that he was in was given as a donation, um, and it was also in a garden. So you have this picture of the of Eden, this perfection, and then the fall, and then they were cast out mm-hmm. and and. I don't, that's not how it was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know, that's when pain entered the world. That's when heartache entered the world. When you think of all the things that are wrong in our lives, whether it's, whether it's we're hungry or we're in pain or we're lonely, whatever it may be, that's, that's not how it was meant to be. And you look at those two gardens and how they, both women were cast out of their homes. And we look at redemption and it, it's, it's so personal. It's so specific to each person. It's specific to me and what I've done wrong. Um, and it's it's not necessarily going to be the same for everyone. And when you think about who you are and what what speaks to you, I believe that just like the color of our clothing and the things that we like, um, our tastes in food and music and style, just as unique as each an ind- individual is, I believe yeah. redemption and Jesus is just as as um, unique as well. And when you look at that contrast of those two gardens. Um, when Jesus died and rose, two of his closest disciples went to the garden, and they saw he was gone, mm-hmm. and and they left. And 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 back in that culture, it's it's important to understand that women couldn't be trusted. They didn't trust them to even be witness to a crime in court. Mm-hmm. So they did not believe them. They did not believe their minds. They did not believe that they were um, capable of remembering. Um, facts in in the in the court of law, so it would make sense, right, to for Jesus to reveal himself to the two men, his closest friends at the mm-hmm. tomb, to to make sure that everyone knew um, that he had risen. Um, but he didn't. He he let them go, and and Mary Magdalene had already been in the garden, and she stayed. He waited until the two disciples left and revealed himself to Mary Magdalene, who had been demon possessed cast out of her home Mm -hmm. and 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 a woman you know why why would he do that if if his message was so important why would he entrust that to someone in the culture that couldn't be relied on to even remember in in a court of law what happened and that's that's very important it's a it's a good example of of jesus redeeming women Wow. Yeah. So he he revealed himself to a woman, and then it would he didn't stop there. He said, "Go and tell everyone what you've seen." Mm-hmm. And he didn't stop there either, because then he continued to reveal himself after she went and told the other disciples. He continued to reveal himself to them to back up her story. And so you have this picture of of Jesus loving the church and Jesus loving women and being an example of how we can treat each other. And I think that's a really important picture, especially on Valentine's Day when we're True. all thinking of love and how we how we treat each other this day. It's wow. something we can do every day. Wow. Mskizaji, Melissa anazungumza mbubu mazito hapa kabisa. Ame tuanzishia pale the Garden of Eden kwenye shambala Edeni pale. Mapenzi kati ya mungu, mwanadamu na jinsi hali livokuwa pale. Mwanadamu katina dhambi akaanguka lakini Mungu ameendelea kuwa mwaminifu na hasa akiangazia wanawake anasema kwamba wanawake wanawake Mungu amekuwa na nyinyi kila wakati hata wakati ambapo mwanamke hajakuwa anaaminika katika Biblia kwa sababu ya fili ya kadhaa ambazo amehusisha nazo ile Eve alihusishwa na kuanguka kwa pale kutenda dhambi pale kwenye Garden of Eden uh, Mary Magdalene ameletwa pale katika story ya jinsi Yesu alijitokeza na kujitokeza kwake Yesu kwake kwa, kwa, kwa Mary Magdalena akimfanya kuwa shahidi na kuonyesha kwamba Mungu anapenda hata vile vitu ambavyo vimekataliwa. Anaonyesha kwamba hata kama Mary Magdalene, hata kama wanawake walikuwa wamedharauliwa na kuonwa duni. Mungu ameonyesha kwamba anawapenda. Na analinganisha anasema katika msimu huu wa Valentine, anasema kwamba hivyo hivyo ndivyo twafaa tuangalie tupendane kwamba tusiweze kuonyesha madharau 
tusiweze kudharau kina dada na ladies I hope you've been encouraged by this. Wanaume na tubai kwa ni changamoto kwamba ladies can be trusted with 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 information they be, can be trusted in running the families. Yes, yes. And respect and just that equal in that equality. The gospel. Yeah, and yes. equality and and treating each other like partners and equals. Yes. Yeah. Na usawa. Ile usawa ambapo tusiangalie mtu fulani ni mnyonge. Kitu kizuri sana msikizaji. We get one song here imeimbwa na Dietrich Harden. Pastor Dietrich Harden is called a sinner's uh, prayer. We are saved by the grace of God. And that will be nice as we will be welcoming our mama to talk to us also. Uh, just in a short while. But we take a short break with a song here. Teach your head. Big one. Winter City. Saved by grace. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit up, say by grace. Yeah. Let go. Clap, 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 oh. clap, clap. Don't oh. let your hands get down to praise. Clap, clap, oh. clap, clap, oh. clap, clap. Don't oh. let your hands get down to Let's praise. Go. I used to be that preacher, telling people what to do, judging everybody, full of pride and self consumed to one day. I felt so hard, lost my faith in God 